As we've noticed when we've been building this, we automatically have a theme applied to our content. So our header looks a certain way, our content looks a certain way, our footer looks a certain way, and the actual um, items and buttons look a certain way as well. This is the default theme for jQuery Mobile. Now this is also known as the A theme. There's two different types of theme in version themes in version 1.4.2. In previous versions, there was more than one theme, but in this version, there's only two. So if you add in simple attributes um, to the content area or to the header area or even the page area, it drastically changes your content into something else. So you'll notice by adding one line or one attribute to our page, all of our content, our header, our, our list views, our page footers, and the uh, content background has now become a darker color. This is what's known as content color B. So you can apply this to a page or you can apply this to only certain elements. Let's go ahead and explore that real quick. So I'm gonna pull open Sublime Text and I'm gonna, inside of Sublime Text, I'm gonna go ahead and hide a couple things. I'm just gonna go into the page level, which is the data dash role equals page. On the ID, I'm gonna go ahead and just type in data dash theme equals, and then within quotes, I'm just gonna say B. Now, if I go ahead and preview this inside of my browser, you'll notice that everything inside of my browser has changed. The header is now a darker color, the content is now white, the text is white, and the content area is black, and then the footer is black as well. Well, if I don't want everything to actually apply to that theme, I can go ahead and just cut that out, and let's paste it to just certain elements. Let's go ahead and paste it to the header. Now that it's on the header, let's refresh and you'll notice that the header bar is now a certain color. Everything else is still that content A. But now let's go ahead and just say, okay, let's apply that to the footer as well. I can copy and paste that data dash theme equals B. And now our header and our footer is now the B color, but everything else is now is still the A color. So I can do it on the page level or I can do it on different elements. Now, if I wanted to do it just on certain uh, content like buttons, um, we'll get into that once we get into buttons, but you can apply this data dash theme to those buttons. There's other types of themes that you can apply using the theme roller application, which we'll talk about in a later video. That allows you to get very custom colors and custom themes that you can apply the same way, but you would have it as A, B, C, or D. So it's up to you in that case, if you're using the theme roller, We'll talk about how to use that in a later video, but if you're using the theme roller, you can get a very custom look and feel for your company. So that's how you use the data dash theme within the header or the page level or the footer level as well as any content in between.